Hello, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back, guys. Thank you for joining me. This is Divine Angelic Guidance 717, and I am here today to do the, the um, Divine Feminine reading, okay? Let's get started on that, y'all. Um, I had the channel and separated because the current masculine energy was very strong. So I let it ride out for a day, took a rest. Um, now I'm back to get the divine feminine energies out. My energies are clear now and I'm focused totally on divine feminine so I can channel correctly, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and click on the notification link. Everything below is in the description box about what you need to know about me, the reading prices, my email, how to book, um, and, any, and also a P.O. box as well for our channel um, for gifts and trinkets. I thank you guys in advance. I love you. If you're new, welcome. Also, click on the notification link and like, share, and subscribe as well. Okay? Let's get started, guys. All right. So, for Divine Feminine, <laughs> I heard the, the weirdest song ever. Remember Ludacris? Um, number one spot. That's what I keep hearing. <laughs> Heard Divine Feminine, and as I was channeling, I was like, Hey, I haven't heard that in a long time. I was like, Yes, and I'm feeling all extra warm every time I talk about it. You come for your number one spot, huh? Divine Feminine, it's your time to shine. Yeah, that's what I'm feeling. Spirit guys, what do we got for Divine Feminine? Give us the overall energy. What do we have? What do you want me to share with Divine Feminine? Yeah, look. You guys are manifesting. You're manifesting all of your greatest, all of your blessings. Let me show you this as you guys can see. Right now, Divine Feminine, your overall energy for this reading is manifestation. Don't slip up, forget God. I'm coming for my number one spot. Yes. Hey. That's my shit right there. <laughs> Yes, but it's about manifesting right now. It is a perfect card for after this retrograde and before the moon, the new moon that is tomorrow, okay, the full moon. Um, this is for you guys to know that you have to manifest whatever you put into the light will come back to you and shine on you tenfold, okay? All right, that's beautiful. All right, now, Divine Feminine. Uh-huh. Ooh, and at the bottom of the deck, Mm, intimacy. Somebody could be getting some loving. Ew. Yes. Somebody could be getting some fire, some flame. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or it could be coming your way. Some new love. That's beautiful. Mm, I like that. Let's get started. Let's see what we got. And I know you guys asked for, um, also asked about new love as well. You guys wanted me to do a freestyle. Um, so I'm going to do a freestyle. Let's do one of the freestyle reading. And I'm, I'm, I'm going to throw some love in and get some love messages at the end so we can see what's coming your way. Spirit guys, ancestors of light, please give me um, some energies when it comes to divine feminine. All right. So we have anxiety in reverse. So you guys are releasing the stress, mm -hmm, which is great for manifesting. You can't manifest it. You're blocked. Okay. So you guys are clearing out anything that's not for your highest good in order for things, new things to come in. So you got the right idea when it comes to manifesting. And there we go. Yes, because you know what? You want victory. Mm-hmm. That's beautiful. I like that. Yes. And there's about to be a storm warning. Um, a tower. Something's about to happen. So whatever's not for your highest good, whatever you guys are manifesting, you know you got to release something too when you manifest. So something that's not for your highest good is about to fall away. Or somebody's about to have no, somebody's having a current awakening about you. Because we do have intimacy here too. So someone outside of you could be your masculine or someone new that could also be having a, a rude awakening when it comes to who you are to them and that you're a victory to them. And that person has is coming out of stress. Mm -hmm. They don't want to fight with you anymore. <sighs> wow. You're also releasing any drama. Anything that's not for your highest good, you're letting go. Anything that's drama, stress, um, relationships, fighting, whatever you've been fighting against, you're letting it go. If you've been fighting change, you're letting it go. You're letting it all go. You want, you're ready for something new and it's coming. Mm -hmm. 
somebody has a karmic around them. This is the karmic card, the queen of coins in reverse. They have a user, a leech, so male or female, take how it resonates. Somebody coming in to try to use you for finances. Somebody has lost all their money. You guys uh, have to be aware of that too. Mm -hmm. Or somebody could be releasing a karmic to come towards you. That could be the storm warning as well. Mm -hmm. Yep. Spirit guys, that's that's the light. What else we got for divine feminine? Yeah. Wow. Thinking man. So you got somebody coming towards you that is thinking about going what how they're gonna approach you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because where they are right now, they don't have any love. And you you guys have also fought past. You're tired of not having love as well, Divine Feminine, being imbalanced in love. You're ready to balance out in your love and in your finances. In the past, you've had issues and drama when it came to your money and love. And you're ready to balance that out. Yep. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah, you're ready to be happy. You're ready for your Ten of Cups. And you want it by any means necessary. You don't care what you have to release. You don't care... Um, who's not happy with it. You don't care who feels what type of way about it. You're ready for new. Mm -hmm. You're ready to walk through your gate, your golden gate. Mm -hmm. Yes. And your door to value. You're ready for your blessings and abundance and overflow. That's what you're ready for. You're not allowing anything to stop you anymore. Um, you were stopping your own self because of allowing people in your life that was not meant for your highest good. And you were letting people pass and slide. Um, people that kept a lot of chaos and drama where you were blocked, where you could not manifest. And you stayed stressed out and having all types of issues where you couldn't get to your victory where it was affecting your finances. You had people around you that were affecting your finances. You had fake love around you too that was blocking you from your happy family and from moving into your abundance. But you're now aware of that. And the tower was coming in to clean the rest of it up and move it out the way. Mm-hmm. Yep. <sighs> wow. Mm. What else do we have? Give me give me one for hostilities. Why are, what what's um changing with the hostilities in their life? Yeah, new beginning. You know, in order to in order for you guys to receive what you need to receive, your new beginning, you are understanding that. You have to release drama. You have to release stress. You have to release things that are not for your highest good. Things that do not speak to your spirit anymore. That does not align with you. You have to let those things go. Whether it's people, places, or things. You, you are okay with releasing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And somebody right here. Somebody's leaving a karmic, guys. I'm just going to tell you how it's given to me. To, to come towards to come towards you and give you an offer, Knight of Cups. Yeah. This somebody's about to head towards you. You got a love offer. Somebody's leaving a toxic relationship that was not for their highest good to come towards you and give you a, 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 a ace of wands, a passionate new beginning. They don't want to, if, if it's somebody from your past, they don't want to fight anymore. They don't want to lose you. If it's somebody new, they're still leaving a bad situation and coming in to give you an offer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Give me one of the thinking man. Spirit ancestors are like anyone for the thinking man. Who is this thinking man spirit for divine feminine? Who is this thinking man coming into divine feminine's reading spirit ancestors are like? Who is this thinking man? Who is this thinking man divine for divine feminine? Who's this thinking man coming towards divine feminine? Oh, who is this? This Knight of Cups is in love. There is a new love. Or a fresh love. They've never been in love before. But it's genuine. They got, they got a passion and new offer coming towards you guys. This person don't want to be known. Who is this thinking man? Are they newer old spirit ancestors of life? Or want to take a high resonance to my lips?
Oh, this thinking man, they, they, they know now that you're the victory. This is going to be a victory situation. Whoever this new person is, it can, if it's from the past, it can be a victory. If it's, if it's an old person, I mean, a new person, they see you as a victory. So we got victory twice, but victory could also be ego. Somebody coming towards you because they don't want their ego bruised. That's why they've been avoiding coming towards you. Both, if it's new or old. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you've been in a, you, you're tired of being in a hangman when it comes to not receiving the love that you deserve. Hangman. You stayed in this position for a long time, Divine Feminine. You were afraid to move forward. You were stuck because you did not want to get hurt again. Whoever, one of these people, because it looks like two offers, or it could be either or, or the same person take a high resonance to your story, guys. You're in the hangman because you are don't want to be hurt anymore. Okay, you can't take another heartbreak. Can't take another heartbreak. Jagged edge, yeah. You can't take another heartbreak at all. Mm -hmm. So you've been manifesting a true love. You guys have been patient and manifesting. We got two manifesting cards. You guys are about to receive your ten of cups, divine feminine. You have been patient. I saw patience. You have been patient, patiently waiting for what you deserve. You have been, a lot of you have been single and alone, waiting and, pray, and praying and doing your work and moving forward so that you can receive what you deserve, okay? There's about to be a tower coming in with a victory. Your tower is about to be a good tower, y'all. Mm hmm Yeah. So you guys that are worried about your new beginning coming in, not as far as in reverse, you can stop worrying because it's yours. It's going to be overflowing with major reward and blessings. So stop worrying. If you guys are worried about what's coming next, nothing but a reward is coming next, Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Spirit is saying for you to get out your mind. Get out your head. Stop being afraid because you're, this is your new beginning and you just, you've earned it. They want you to get out your head about it. You've been stuck in your head about not wanting to have any more drama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What did I say? This person, whoever's coming toward you, is leaving a karmic situation they learned a lesson in, okay? They're leaving the karmic behind. Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups. They're walking away. You see how they're walking away and headed towards you? Nine of Cups coming in with a love offer. Yeah. Yes. They want to work on it with you. The thinking man. Eight of coins. They want to put all the work into you. They see you as a victory. They want to build with you. Whoever this is coming toward you. Mm -hmm. We have victory twice. They've had a rude awakening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you've been the hangman about love. Not wanting to be hurt. But you're about to have some pas a passionate love conversation coming towards you. Somebody expressing how they feel about you. Mm-hmm. Yep. You're about to have major balance coming to your life, divine feminine, when it comes to finances and love. You're about to have a ten of cups situation coming to your life. You manifested it. Mm -hmm. It's here. It's here. You're about to receive it. And nothing nobody can do to take it from you because you've earned it. What do we have for magician and ten of cups here? Ancestors of light. Yeah. Yeah. Spirit is saying, do not be scared. Do not be afraid to walk in your truth and get and manifest what you deserve. You've done it. So stop being scared. Have the courage to move into what you deserve. You created it. And it's here. Wish fulfillment. Everything you touch is about to turn to gold. And it's going to feel surreal. It's going to feel like, oh my God, is this really happening to me? But it is because you've earned it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Release the, release the pain of the betrayal that you receive. Release all this pain, okay? Surrender this pain. Let it go. You've already healed it. You've, you've endured it so that you can transform and walk through your abundant gate. You've, you've, ended, you've ended this old cycle. You've earned everything that's coming toward you.
You must believe it. Get out of your head and stop thinking about the betrayals that's behind you. Mm hmm Ace of Cups. That's what's coming towards you. And also much self-love is the reason why you're receiving all these rewards, Divine Feminine. Whew, that's beautiful. Okay, let's see here, Spirit. What else you got? Yeah, you've been patient. What did I say? I saw patience before. Mm-hmm. Your breakthrough is here. You have to stop being afraid. Your breakthrough has arrived. It's your time. Mm-hmm. Everything that's happening, it may feel surreal. The things that are happening in you guys' life right now. But it's the truth. It's the it's, it's what's supposed to happen. You put you've done the work. You have victory here twice, meaning you earned it. Yes, do not have any guilt and stay in your head about who's not coming with you. You have to move forward with your life. You can't worry about what no longer serves you. Yeah. This person that's coming towards you is leaving a nothing in this situation in reverse. They're leaving that person behind. That was straight nothing that they were investing in. This person is coming back towards you, that's coming towards you. They were investing in a dead situation. This person, that it was a one-sided situation, whoever this was, that they're leaving. They're leaving a karmic that just sucked them dry, a lazy bum. They did not put any work in. They were a nothingness, okay? Your person had to, whoever this person is, had to learn this lesson before they were able to come towards you. Mm-hmm. Now they want to put the work in and transform. Work hard to transform. And you guys worked hard to transform as well and to get to where you are. Yeah. You had to understand divine feminine. You had to understand about why you went through the situations when it came to being heartbroken and not receiving the love that you knew that you were worthy of before. The reason why the angel of love is in reverse when it comes to your reading is because you guys had to learn what it felt like to push you in order for you to have self-love for yourself. You had to know what it was like to be mistreated, what it was, what you didn't deserve first in order to gain what you deserve. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And you now know that because you were in hangman position and you thought about it passionately to see where you needed to go as far as your mental space of shooting that fire. Mm -hmm. You became aware. Awareness. You know now. You can't be afraid of it. It's yours. <laughs> You guys have earned it. Everything is coming your way. You've earned. We're in a whole new cycle of abundance and blessings. And it's your time. For love, finances, happiness, joy. The Ten of Cups, wish fulfillment. You have to have the courage to know that you're worthy of it. Yes. And the person that you were with, whoever's coming toward you, they've been. They, if you were with them before in the past, this could be a past person, Okay. This person did not have the courage to come toward you before. Mm -hmm. But now they're awakened. When they, once they awaken to how they did you, this person that hurt you in the past. It could be a person that hurt you in the past that was manipulating the situation with you. And they figured out who you are now through, an, through a rude awakening. They're trying to gain the strength to come back towards you. That's that knot of cups. This person was manipulating them. I'm sorry, manipulating you, playing games, and they played themselves out of their wish fulfillment. They are now awakened to that with the with the um, thunderbolt card, with the tower. They're awakened. Yeah, they know now who you are. They're ready to make it work. And when they come back into you, they're going to be playful to try to break the ice with you. Mm -hmm. Spirit is saying for you guys to get ready to walk through your. Your garden gate of abundance, mm -hmm. but you have to get out your head. Stop self deceiving. You also can self sabotage yourself by not allowing the past to be the past and stand in your head. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to be a rebel and know that you're worthy of it, and stop being going off of conditioning things that were not for your highest good that were other people did patterns. That are not for yours. I hate when people say, oh, well, my family did this, so I got to do that. Up. That's not, I don't do nothing. My, I, everything that I, my family does, I do the opposite. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can't be afraid to let go. You, you can't be afraid to let go and change. I'm a generational, I'm a, I'm a generational debt collector. I clear out the past. Whatever 
is my family did I break that cycle? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a person that, that believes in breaking cycles, okay? Yeah, the rebel. It's okay to be the rebel. It's okay to be different. Mm -hmm. It's called maturity. Yeah. Yeah, you, you have to, you, your past lives, you cannot let this stuff come back. It comes back to haunt you, but you have cleared out your debts with your past lives. Now it's time for you to move forward. Yeah, don't let crazy people drive you crazy, okay? Mental patients drive you crazy and make you believe that you don't deserve better, that you're only supposed to stay in the conditioning of what you were raised in. Life is a lesson, including your family and friends. You do not have to stay in the same situation that you that you saw your mother or father or family grow up in. It's on you to break the cycle and not have any guilt about it. I, I don't want to live in nothingness, okay? Yeah. Yeah. You have to be receptive to it and know that you deserve it. It's your time. You guys have made it. You guys have succeeded. You have arrived. Yes. Balance is here. Justice is served. Yes. You're about to receive many gifts. It's time to receive them, divine feminine, and stop second guessing yourself. Stop not forgiving. You have to forgive. Forgiveness is not for them. It's for you. You're about to have a message of concern come in about something in your life that's about to shift. What did I say? This person was nothingness. The person that's coming towards you with this knot of cups, they're leaving a, a karmic. Okay? They're leaving a karmic. This person was nothingness, okay? To your person. They have found, they have learned their karmic lesson and, and earned that and, and closed their debt out. And they're headed towards you. Mm hmm. That's the message of concern you guys are about to receive. We have two towers here on the board. Mm hmm. You, you, the person that they were dealing with, that karmic, was very mentally unstable. Schizophrenia. Mm hmm. And now it's time for a change. You guys are about to shift into some new love or renewed love. Mm hmm. The spirit is saying for you guys to stop putting, stop worrying about the past situations you can't change. Your past lifetimes, your past life patterns, um, and, and things in the past, how you were raised, what you went through as a kid. Those things are not working for you anymore. You are refreshed and renewed. Spirit is saying for you to transform. Appreciate your transformation. Stop being afraid of it because it happened for a reason. It's okay to mature. It's okay. It's okay to be different. Different is taking you places that... Being the same, doing the same patterns that everybody else did is only taking you to hell, right? Only brought towers in your life. Only brought heartbreak and loss. Mm-hmm. It's time for balance. Justice. Yes, because you're high honor. You're a gift. You, you came here to break curses and break patterns. A justice seeker. Yes, you are great fortune. You're about to reap a lot of ancestral fortunes of people that did not break the cycles before you. All types of generational curses have been broken because of you, Divine Feminine. And now you're about to reap the reward of all of that coming towards you in abundance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And those that were afraid to transform and, di and didn't want to let go are mad at you. Mm-hmm. Because they're going to be left out in poverty. Yeah. We're not changing. Mm hmm Somebody wants to resurrect something, too, with you. I told you guys you got somebody coming in from the past that wants to resurrect with you guys. Mm-hmm. They want to pull Lazarus for something that had died. All they do is think about you. Yep. You got a message of love coming in from this person. Who is the emperor? Maybe your divine masculine. That's who's leaving this karmic. Your divine master was trapped with a karmic. But the universe is coming in to change that situation. There will no longer be any work. They're about to um, have justice served. Whoever this person was that your person was with, they were trapped. That's why her honor's right next to it. This person was being a manipulator. And your person found out why they weren't transforming. They were stuck with a false person. Whew, yeah, and on the wrong pathway. And you may begin to call about somebody going to jail. 
Mm hmm Yeah. You're not expecting. And you're also not expecting the divine feminine. A mature male is coming towards you. You guys got two offers here. Again, they keep coming up. Somebody finna have two men. A decision between two. Yep. And somebody's trying to stop somebody from coming in to court you. So one of these men or both are about to fight the other from coming into union with you. Yeah, somebody about to try to stop that. <laughs> Let's see here. Give me a couple of... Let's check out the love, y'all. Let's see what we got for love. A couple love messages. So what do you guys got coming in for Divine Feminine for love? What's coming in? We see these two men. One's an emperor. One's a mature male. So one Divine Masculine and one... And keep coming up. One Divine Masculine and another man coming in. Or a woman taking high resonance to your story. Mm-hmm. Spirit is saying for you to trust it. It's coming toward you. It's for your highest good. Mm -hmm. And they're, whoever this is, is dropping this unrequited love situation. They're leaving something. They're leaving the karmic to come towards you. They're ready to tra They're transforming. They, they're about to drop the false person. Mm -hmm. Spirit is saying, stay optimistic about your love life. You got it coming in. Honeymoon. Somebody about to probably get proposed to. And go on a honeymoon. <laughs> Retreat. <laughs> a vacation together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's coming in. You got your life is about to change out of nowhere. It's just gonna happen abruptly. We got two towers here. It's gonna happen out of nowhere, divine feminine. Mm-hmm. Yep, true love is here. That is beautiful, y'all. It's here. Oh, and it landed on top of the, the mature man too. You guys are not expecting it though. You're not expecting it. When it happens, it's gonna it's gonna happen like a tower. It's gonna hit the bone. Mm-hmm. A past life relationship. So this person you've known in, in the past life, or you've known them before from a childhood, before you b b when you were younger, or it could be someone from your past. You may know both of these. Of course, you know your twin flame, or you your divine masculine, but you may know the other person too. And it's going to blow your mind because you're not expecting it. It's on top of no expectation. You're about to be blindsided with some new love. Mm-hmm. Because you've been calling in your soulmate. Look at that. That is beautiful, y'all. I like it. Let's get a couple messages here. Let's see what else we got to tell you guys. Mm-hmm. Just the Spirit says, just let it flow, Divine Feminine. Mm-hmm. Your life is now balanced out. It's your turn. It's your time. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. You have to believe it and know it. Stand in it. Walk in it with your head held high. And, and like the, like I put this thing up, it says, um, I walk in, I walk like I'm like I got it all because God already told me I have it. That's how you gotta walk. Mm -hmm. No more financial issues, no more worries, no more helplessness or hope, no more poverty. If you guys have been having financial problems, that's over. You are now walking through the door of value. Mm-hmm. That's over with. Yep. You're about to come together with someone. And in reverse, this person is leaving an unrequited love situation. There's no love coming together. They're about to transform and leave this karmic because they know there's nothing that's there. There's nothing there. This person does not like this person. Mm-hmm. They are open to learn. This the, Whoever's coming in towards you, they were hard-headed and egotistical before. They arrogant. You both had to drop ego. All three of you guys, whoever the two coming in and yourself. Mm-hmm. And seek the truth within yourself and see what you were not seeing. Mm-hmm. By observing what's around you. Mm-hmm. Having self-love and self-worth and believing that you're worthy. Not being controlling anymore. Just let it come in and flow and receive it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah. Spirit says just breathe. You're about to be hit with true love, y'all. It's here. Yep. And it's hard for you guys to believe it, but it's here. It's your turn. Look, believe in, believe that you're about to succeed. It's your time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. 
it's time to rebuild. You're about to receive everything you guys have ever dreamt of. The Ten of Cups. That's everything. Mm -hmm. Let's get a couple of these messages here. Then we're going to get out of here, y'all. I feel I feel light and happy now. That's why we saw intimacy. You guys about to have some wild, crazy sex too. Some beautiful love making. Mm hmm. You ain't better breathe. <laughs> There's a lot of passion on this board. A lot of wands. It's about to go down. Yeah, yeah. Because you've surrendered. You're allowing the universe to bring in what is for your highest good. That's why you guys have to be okay with receiving it and not being afraid, not being afraid that it's going to fail. Get out of your head. You are, your life is balancing out. You've earned it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah. And you've forgiven everybody around you or you need to. This is what's going to open the door to the rest of your blessings. Your forgiveness is not for them, it's for you to move forward. Mm -hmm. And your discipline is why you're bringing everything in. You've been very disciplined. Adversity, I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Everything you went through was destined for you to go through. The pain, the heartache, the love, the, the confusion, the um, dark night of the soul. All that stuff was meant to happen. So that you can land up and end up here with two victories and manifesting everything that you think of. Whatever you guys put into your thought process is going to come into fruition. This is your season of blessings, your, se your season of balance, your season of overflow. Okay? And true love. It's your time. Open up and receive a divine feminine. I love you guys. This is a beautiful message. Congratulations to whoever resonates with this. Um, Y'all about to have... The hardest thing that you're about to have to do is choose between two. <laughs> ah, it's going to be drama. That part is dramatic, okay? Because I say follow your heart, okay? Follow your heart. Follow your intuition. Meditate, Okay? Surrender and follow what feels the best to your soul will be my advice because it's true. It's yours. Pinch yourself. We're here. Divine Feminine has arrived. Okay. That's why we got two towers. Y'all can't believe it, but you got two back. You got victory twice too. So it's meant for you. You manifested it. You went through all your trials and tribulations to end up here. And now it's your time. Receive it. I thank you guys. I love you. And namaste.